So, as you may have noticed, we are back in a familiar location, if you have been watching my videos since the beginning. I have travelled back from university to my parents' house, so I'll be going back and forth between my uni accommodation and my parents' house just because I work up near uni, but that's completely boring and you don't care. So today I'm going to be doing my November favourites. I had a bit more work in November, so got a bit more cash to spend. A couple of things are sort of impulse buys, but a lot of it was homewares, which I just haven't had the money to sort of purchase, and so I took it upon myself to purchase them this month. A lot of the homewares I don't actually have with me because they're in my uni room, so I'm just going to try and find some pictures to show you, and um, yeah, shall we get to it? So I'm going to start with the clothing, just because I have it with me. So the first thing is from Cotton On. This was definitely an impulse buy. I just walked into the shop and I was just, you know, having a browse as you do and I saw it and I was like, yes. So it's this dress. This is going to be um, very perfect for the weather that's coming up. So it's just a blue colour. It's got this kind of flowery... It's almost like that old Hawaiian, but with a mix of like Aztec print going on. Yeah, it's really flowy, really comfortable, and I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of it. The next thing I got from the sale section in a shop called Dotty. I haven't really shopped at Dotty for a while. I, um, I used to go there all the time, but I hadn't been for ages, so I just popped in, and they had like a big sale section, so I was like... I'll go check that out. And um, I found this shirt, which is a navy blue and white striped high neck with no sleeves, as you can see. Yeah, this one's really nice as well. I wore it yesterday with some high-waisted jeans, but, you know, I can wear it with my blue jeans as well. And it's just like one of those sort of casual, but you can dress it up if you want to shirts. And, um... Yeah, and it's really nice, and it was only $10, and I thought it was 15 and then I took it to the cash register, and she was like, $9.95 please, and I'm like, oh, yes, I will pay you $9.95 for this. Okay, so the next thing is from one of my newly favourited stores, which I'm not ashamed about, and that is Kmart. And it's this necklace, and it's kind of like a tribal sort of thing going on there, but it was $8 from Kmart. So I was pretty impressed with that. Yeah, I've worn this necklace out to sort of like to dress up an outfit before and um, I've also worn it casually. Very nice and pretty, pretty and summery. Just what we like because it's freaking hot. Okay, the next thing I have to show you is I'm only putting it in this because it is my favourite t-shirt that I have acquired and this is my geek streak coming out again but there's a YouTube channel called Good Game Pocket and if you join in their live streams, you can win a t-shirt. And I want a t-shirt. So it basically just has the YouTube page's logo on it. And it has become my most favourite shirt ever. Just because I love the channel and therefore I love the shirt. And I want it as well. And I don't win things very often. So excuse my geekiness, but that is definitely my favourite shirt of November, if not 2015. Okay, moving on to homewares. So, I don't know if I've shown you guys this one before, but it's from Kmart as well, and it was only $5. And it is this Beaker candle, which I think is freaking awesome. <laughs> and it's not really a fragrant, but it kind of has like that vanilla sort of smell that candles sometimes have. So, I haven't actually burnt it yet. But um, I'm planning to. I just, I really, really like it. And, you know, even once I've burnt down the whole candle, I'm probably going to keep the jar because it's just really cool. It's just one of those odd little, like, knickknacks that I kind of want to fill my house with. Shh, birds. So yeah, so it was $5 from Kmart if you want to go grab yourself one. Okay, so onto the things that I don't have with me. Uh, so first of all, I went into Typo again. And they've got a whole new, like, bath range, so I grabbed myself a hand towel, and it is this one here, 
yeah, I just really like the pattern. I'm sort of like doing a theme in my room of like black, white, and then purple is like the accent colour. So this just goes really nicely in my bathroom and it's just really handy to have a hand towel, you know, so you don't have to keep using my bath towel all the time because it just kind of gets dirty really quickly and you don't need to know that. <laughs> uh, some other things from Kmart that I got were a black soap dispenser which is actually, if you're a student and you need to get soap, just buy yourself a soap dispenser and then you can just buy the big like soap refill bottles and it ends up being like more cost effective than if you just kept buying like small soap. But yeah, obviously the black soap dispenser fits in with my whole theme that I'm doing, so that's good. So it's coming up to when I need to move out of my uni room, so to get rid of like the smell of me, I have uh, bought a vanilla room diffuser from Kmart as well. And that's just like a nice sort of smell, it just takes away, you know, I mean like it's not necessarily smelly, but you know, when you go into other people's rooms, it's like their scent has just sort of like filled up the room. <laughs> I don't know whether this is gross or not, but I mean, surely you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I just bought that one to just take away any of my scent, just like whitewash the room, sort of, and um, and yeah, and then it's just a really nice diffuser that I can take with me when I move to wherever I'm going next year. Alrighty, last but not least is Out of Home Wares, and it's actually music, and these have been um, I bought these at the beginning of the month at JB Hi-Fi. They were having a three CDs for $20 deal, so I thought that was pretty good. And um, yeah, I've been listening to these albums pretty much all month, just because they were, you know, new to me. Um, so the first one is Alice in Wonderland Run. Yeah, so I've been listening to that pretty much on repeat. The song Take It to Reality is kind of been my favourite jam song in November. Then I bought Ms. Mister How Does It Feel. I really liked their first album so I thought I'd give this one a listen and it's pretty good as well. And then last but not least I bought Lana Del Rey Ultraviolence and I know she's like just released a new album but um I was a bit behind and I didn't get this one and from what I heard like I really like the song West Coast so I just really wanted to hear the rest of it. Because I love Lana. She's lovely. So that was my November favourites. I hope it was entertaining for you. Um, I'm just super excited to be filming videos for you guys. Um, if you haven't already, check out my Vlogmas. Uh, that should be up by now, hopefully. Um, if not, I'll obviously cut this out. Uh, but yeah, go check that out. See what I've been up to. Um, that will continue for the rest of the month, hopefully, unless unforeseen circumstances. So yeah, thank you for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I know there's a couple of you out there already who are really liking what I'm doing and I just want to say that I really appreciate that. Um, this whole thing is, you know, kind of hard for anyone to get started but just knowing that there's a couple of people that watch these videos is enough to make me keep doing them. So thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed and yeah, if you're a newcomer, Subscribe to the family. Why not? Join an Aussie on her adventures. I'll probably see you in a next Vlogmas. Um, if not, probably my summer lookbook. Stay tuned for that. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Bye!